Hi, I'm Ray Young. I'm an emeritus professor from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and I'm continuing on my series of lectures on essential oils and perfumes, the basics. Uh, we've covered in previous lectures uh, essential oils and the structure and composition of perfumes. And last time we started talking about the various perfume accords or families of perfumes. And today we'll emphasize more of the modern perfumes. Uh, we did discuss some of these last time. Uh, and here is the series of perfumes, the floral, oriental or amber, chypre, citrus, which we covered last time, the first group, and today we'll go through fruity gourmand, aquatic, woody, and leather. Let's start right out with our fruity gourmand. Uh, this is a modern classification. Uh, it's a, a classification of edible or light refreshing fruity notes of berries, peach, black currant, mango, and so on. Um, and the particular perfume I've selected for this category is Prada Candy, uh, which was launched in 2011. And this composition includes a, a, an elegant mix of musks, a sensual balsamic vanilla accord of benzoin, and benzoin is a resin with a vanillic uh, resinous uh, aroma, and a sweet modern caramel. Uh, every note works well in tandem with this perfume, uh, and it uh, it's it creates a rich sunset of, uh, of a scent. Some say it, it needs skin to come alive, in other words, just not on a scent strip, but on the skin. And it's, but it's re been reported to have rather poor silage and longevity. The main accords, as I've noticed, uh, the fragrance is caramel, sweet, musky, balsamic, warm, spicy. And the perception of many people, uh, this was, when, when many people perceive of this, they immediately pick up the scent of caramel, uh, followed by benzoin, musk, powdery scents, van and vanilla. And this has been a very popular people uh, perfume with uh, younger women. Our next a perfume in this category of Fruity Gourmand uh, that I've chosen is Viva La Juicy. It came out by Juicy Couture in 2008. Um, it's a gourm gourmet floral fragrance and it opens with notes of wild berry and juicy mandarin. It's followed by a floral blend of honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine with the base notes that provide a gourmet rhapsody of caramel, vanilla, sandalwood, and pralines. You can distinguish this from uh, candy. It has a, a slightly different uh, aroma. Uh, some say this perfume smells like a teenage dream, so it might be a bit too sweet or too young for mature women, but like the perfume candy, it tends to fade fast, and some say as, as quickly as two hours. Uh, the perfume shown here is in the typical juicy couture bottle with that charming uh, ribbon of fuchsia color. The main accords listed or the fragrance are white floral, sweet, caramel, fruity, vanilla, and citrus. And the perception of many is immediately of the caramel, and then vanilla, mandarin orange, pralines, wild berry, and gardenia. And again, a very uh, popular perfume uh, with the uh, with younger women. Another accord, a newer accord of perfumes or families, is the aquatic or oceanic ozonic. Uh, this family was created in 1991. It's got a very clean, modern smell, and it has led to many androgynous perfumes, uh, both men and women. Uh, it conjures up the smell of ocean, sea breezes, waterfalls, mountain air, and it typically contains the synthetic cologne, which is spelled differently than the cologne we wear, uh, C-A-L-O-N-E, and it often has citrus smells. And the perfume in this category I selected first is Cool Water. Uh, this was created by David Doff uh, for women in 1996. Uh, this was eight years after the successful launch of Cool Water for Men in uh, uh, 1988. Uh, the woman's version is very calm with aquatic notes that remind us of the ocean breeze and cool sea water and fruits and woods. Uh, it's reported to last on the skin all day long and not even change after a, a swim in the ocean. And the women's accords as shown are, are fragrance is aquatic, floral, fruity, ozonic, sweet and fresh. And the perception of many women uh, are immediately of melon, uh, or lotus, and then lemon, water lily, and pineapple, and quince. Uh, 
As I mentioned, the men's version was created in 1988. It also has a, a fragrance of marine aquatic, but it's more fresh, spicy, and woody. And the uh, perception in terms of the men's perfumes is uh, seawater and a little more lavender, mint, and patchouli and tobacco, which are characteristic of men's perfumes. The other perfume in this category that I selected is Aqua di Gioia from Giorgia Armani, uh, produced in 2010. And this also has seductive sea aromas in the fragrance. Uh, it's compared with a woman who is strong, dignified, and free spirit, but in perfect harmony with nature. It was inspired by the summer holiday spent on the islands by Giorgio Armani and the islands of Pantelleria and Antigua, uh, where he has villa, uh, villas. And the fragrance was led by the idea of an escape to nature. And uh, the main accords in this case are citrus, aromatic, green, sweet, fresh, white floral. And the perception of many immediately is of lemon and then mint, sugar, jasmine, a cedar, and peony. A very nice perfume in this uh, aquatic category. The next category of perfumes I want to talk about, and I'll just give one example in this case, is the woody family. And this emphasizes sense of sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, and vetiver. Patchouli, uh, with this camphorous smell, is commonly found in this perfume, uh, such as Sierra, Sahara Noir, in the Burberry body, which I've selected for an example. The Burberry body was introduced in 2011 in a large uh, advertising campaign in, in 150 different countries. It was accompanied the launch by an attractive advertisement of photos of a naked actress wrapped in a Burberry model raincoat. And the model was Rosie Huntington Whiteley, who appeared in Transformers 3, the movie. The perfume begins with with notes of fresh peach in the flower freesia, with roses uh, in the base, uh, and with roses in the base of cashmere wood, sandalwood, and musk. It has a, quite a woody smell, and the main accord or the fragrance is woody, musky, powdery rose, and floral. And the perception of many, though, is immediately of rose and peach, and then the woodies come in, the cashmere wood musk, sandalwood, and wormwood. Uh, again, a very nice perfume introduced in 2011. Uh, the, the last category of perfumes in, the, in these uh, families is the leather. And this family is the very masculine. It evokes smells of tobacco, smoke, wood tars, leather, and honey. It alludes to leather, but most of them do not have any leather in them. The, the, the aroma depends on this uh, chemical quinolones, the group of chemicals, which were synthesized way back in the 1880s. In perfumes such as Bandit, Azure, and Amen Pure Leather contain uh, have this aroma. And I've selected Amen Pure Leather as my example. And this was launched by Thierry Mugler in 2012 as part of an edition of Les Perfumes de Cure, the fragrances of leather. And he offered new editions of a number of his perfumes, such as Angel, Alien, Womanity, and Amen perfumes. And it was to celebrate his 20th birthday at the time. And what he did is, uh, for that occasion, he had four new interpretations of these new perfumes, which contain natural extracts of leather. So the Amen Pure Leather was produced by first making the juice, uh, the composition of the essential oils and synthetics, and then soaking them in actual leather for a month to bring on that actual pure leather scent. And this Amen leather exudes dark and fiery overtones, uh, providing a fragrance of irresistible magnetism. And it really is a unique perfume. Uh, the main accords, as I've shown, are leather, sweet, caramel, warm, spicy, aromatic, and the perception of many is first of the leather, and then caramel and patchouli, coffee, honey milk. Uh, a very, very pleasant perfume, but uh, for certain select people. I also want to mention, of course, are the celebrity perfumes. And about one in five every per perfume sold now are of the celebrity type. For the men, the celebrities are usually sports figures, such as uh, such as uh, uh, Michael Jordan or or Beckham. The uh, the soccer player, 
but in terms of the uh, women's perfumes, it's all, often movie stars, um, and uh, I've listed a number of them. Of course, uh, Elizabeth Taylor's White Diamonds was introduced in 1991 and, and, and uh, achieved about $55 million. Uh, Glow uh, by Jennifer Lopez, about uh, $38 million. Uh, so these perfumes take in large amounts of money, as I mentioned in earlier, in earlier discussions. Uh, the fragrance uh, shown here, lovely, I've selected uh, because it was described in the book The Perfect Scent by Chandler Burr, as I've shown here. And he's followed along with the development of the perfume. If you do have an interest in how perfumes are developed over a period of up to a year, uh, from the brief to the final perfume, uh, this is a good read. Uh, and it followed Sarah Jessica Parker's a lovely perfume uh, created in 2005. Uh, it was created by Laurent Legrenac and uh, Clement Gavry, uh, the perfumers, with Sarah herself uh, being the creative director, and she was actively involved in the process from start to finish. She wanted a signature scent that was very sexy, but undeniably classy. Uh, she didn't want it to be overpowering, but instantly recognizable. Lovely is a soft, powdery, discreet, and very intimate fragrance and it's announced by its silky white amber. Uh, it possesses the elegance of a classic fragrance, and yet it's quite modern and quite charming. And the main accords are the fragrance, as I've shown, is fresh, spicy, musky, aromatic, woody, and floral. And the perception of people immediately is it's, it's of that musk, and followed by lavender, patchouli, woody orchid, and white pepper. A very a nice perfume uh, developed by Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, and she says that it's appropriate for any woman from 7 to 17. So I'd like to summarize what I've uh, discussed in this series of uh, lectures on essential oils and perfumes, about eight of them. Uh, that essential oils and perfumes have a strong effect on emotions, health, and awareness. And the general structure of a perfume combines the top notes of ephemeral presence, the heart notes with hours of essence, and the base notes of long-lasting aroma. Uh, the perfumes can have adverse effects, though, on some people, triggering headaches, allergies, dizziness, and nausea. As a result, uh, a number of these ingredients have been banned and are no longer included in perfume, but perfume chemists are busy working on exploring alternative options uh, for both new and safer perfumes. Finally, perfumes are created by skilled perfumers utilizing hundreds of natural essential oils and synthetics to provide valuable luxury items for their lasting pleasure and preference to the wearer. And I hope through this uh, series of discussions, you've been able to discover your own perfect scent. Thank you.